Welcome back to a Natural Phonics Primer, a universal safety net for literacy. That's reading and spelling. And we're going to be doing exercise 10. By the way, exercise 9 is a review, and we don't do the review exercises. since We've already taught everything that you need to know there. That's just for building your fluency and ability to discriminate between the various sounds and words. Now, exercise 10 is a very important lesson because we're going to be doing the k sound, as in the word key, k key. And it can be spelled with the letter C or the letter K, which I just circled there. So it can be it can be spelled both ways. And so you may ask, well, how am I supposed to know which one to use, Mr. Potter? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm going to show you. Uh, if this if the letter after the k sound, okay, is a a an o or a U, as in the words here, cap, cop, and cup, we're going to use the letter C. C can also make the tss, the S, the sound of S, tss, and we'll study that later, but that's when it's followed by an E, I, or a Y. Right here, we're looking at C when it's followed by an A, an O, or a U. Okay, now, when do we use the K? Very simple. Whenever it's followed by the letter E or the letter I, which I write right here with E or I. So uh, this first word is keg and kid. So all you got to do to know which one to use is just think about the letter that comes after it. Let's look at these words real quick. We have the first word C-A-B, A-B. And notice we have the B because it starts with a line, cab, as taxi cab, or the cab of a semi or a truck. Next word is C-A-N, can, a -n, can, and that can have a lot of meanings. It can be a can of uh, soda pop, a can of, uh, for example, Coke or root beer, or it can be a verb, as in the sentence, can I go to town? So we have the word there, can. Next is C-A-P, a cap, as put on your ball cap. C-A-T, cat, a -t, cat. I have a pretty yellow cat. C-O-B, a but Notice it starts with a line, but Cob, cob. I like corn on the cob with butter and salt and pepper. C O D, cod. C ah, and notice the D. D starts with a circle. Cod. Cod is a kind of fish. Codfish. It's very good and healthy for you. C O P, cop. C ah, cop. And a cop is another word for our best friend, the policeman, who protects us and helps us. C-O-T, cot, a cot. A cot's a little bed. Sometimes it'll actually fold up and you can carry it and then set it up. Cot, like when you go camping, you sleep on a cot instead of the ground. Uh, C-U-B, cub, a B, and notice it starts with a line, cub. A cub is a little baby bear, cub. C-U-F-F, -F, cuff. C -a -f. Notice the double F right there, as we've seen in other words. And you only say the F one time. You don't say cuff. It's just cuff. But when you write it, you write both. You say C U F F or C U double F. C U P cup. C a cup. A cup of coffee. C U T cut. C a t cut. And if you look at every word, you'll notice the next letter is either an A, like these words here. It can be an O, as these words right here. 
or it can be a U, as these words right here, and we use the letter C. Now, we'll look at the K. K-E-G. Keg. K -E -G. K -E -G. Keg, a keg of root beer. It's a big thing of root beer. K-I-D, kid, k -I -D. And I'm sure you started with the circle so you knew it was a d instead of a b. Kid. A kid is a little kid, a little boy or girl. Uh, and a kid can also be a little goat. K-I-L-L, -L. kill, k -I Oh, and notice the double L on the end. And I'm sure no one has anything against killing a fly that's trying to eat your pie. K-I-S-S. -S. Kiss. K -I -S. Kiss. And notice the two S's. Give your mother a kiss. K-I-T. Kit. It, kit, like a medicine kit, where that you're going to have your band-aids and, and all the things, and if you get a cut to fix it, a kit. Okay, now you know when to use a C, and when you need, when you use a K, and you can read all these words. So good luck with your timings, and I'm quite sure you'll meet your Minimum calibrated speed in no time and be ready to move on to the next exercise.